Hello, I'm Dr. Maury Gertz, and I'm chair of the Department of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. My clinical activities for the past 30 years have been involved in the diagnosis and care of patients with the rare bone marrow cancer, multiple myeloma. In the time I've been caring for patients, I've seen amazing breakthroughs lead to between a 200 and 300 percent improvement in survival for a disease that was once uniformly fatal. The cause of multiple myeloma remains unknown but is the subject of active research here at Mayo Clinic. The term MGUS, a precursor to all patients with multiple myeloma, was first defined and the term coined at Mayo Clinic. There are no specific causative agents, although it is believed that dioxin exposure in the form of Agent Orange in uh, Vietnam era veterans has been associated with an increased risk of MGUS and multiple myeloma. There was also an increase in multiple myeloma in atomic bomb survivors in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, although a radiation exposure history can only be obtained in 1% of patients with multiple myeloma. Multiple attempts have been uh, brought forward to try and look at other potential causative agents, water contamination, pesticides and the like, but none of them have been consistent. And there is no occupation that is consistently associated with multiple myeloma. Although there is no specific anti-myeloma diet or anti-myeloma lifestyle, we have found that patients who participate actively in a healthful nutritional program and maintain an active lifestyle tolerate their treatment better, appear to have fewer infectious complications, and overall have a lower side effect profile than those patients who have multiple other problems, uh, have issues with their weight, have other chronic illnesses, and that those patients who work hard on maintaining their fitness and reducing their frailty seem to have better outcomes. Mayo Clinic has had very broad participation in research on multiple myeloma. We've completed large epidemiologic projects that have defined the risk of transformation of patients identified with the precursor state MGUS and what their specific risk of developing multiple myeloma and what testing needs to be done to help predict those changes. We've also done a good deal on the natural history so we understand what to expect in terms of outcomes from those patients who present with kidney damage or those patients who fail their first line of therapy and what they can expect after they've had successive courses of treatment, a second line, a third line, and what those outcomes uh, are anticipated to be. We've extensively participated in new drug trials, agents that have shown activity in animal models of multiple myeloma, in the test tube of multiple myeloma, but now are ready for testing in adults with multiple myeloma as we try to improve outcomes for them moving forward. We have extensive direct research experience analyzing the chromosomal abnormalities of multiple myeloma. Mayo Clinic has also defined the proteins that allow for the activity of the imid class of compounds, the lidomide, lenalidomide, and pomalidomide. Analysis of these proteins determine the likelihood with which a patient will respond to these agents. This offers the potential for a true individualized approach where patients can be tested and determine whether it would be worthwhile to receive one of this class of drugs. The future of uh, multiple myeloma and patients who've been stricken with it is very, very positive. Over the last 30 years, I've seen the survival double and double again. And I expect with the rapid development of new diagnostic tools, new brand new therapeutic classes of drugs, all of which can be combined with each other to maximize the effect 
while at the same time minimizing any adverse effects and allowing patients to maintain a completely normal quality of life is a virtual certainty. And I anticipate in the next three years, these agents will all be fully approved and available for use in any oncologist clinic, but I do expect that multiple myeloma will still continue to be heavily researched and Mayo Clinic will be an important player in bringing forward new treatments based on our understanding of the biology of the disease.